cancer so this is a reading that i got for you guys for the last two weeks of february 2020 so i got the tower in reverse as gen energy i got the world i got the temperance i got the page of wands in reverse i got um the eight of pentacles in reverse and the queen of wands in reverse okay you guys are making power moves power powerful moves you guys have level up i i love this energy um it's really strong so i feel like a lot of you guys are really in a transformative type of energy okay we do got the tower it's in reverse um but it's more like you avoiding certain people um it's more like you're not dealing with energies that's just not um that's not going to allow you to grow, allow you to evolve, okay? I'm seeing you guys are really closing a chapter in your life, okay? You're really closing it for good. You are moving on. You are moving forward. And I feel like it's with two particular people, okay? Um, one person could be a fire sign and one person could be an earth sign, okay? I'm seeing that you're closing the door on both, okay? And you're moving forward with somebody um, who's much better, why are you just moving forward by yourself, okay? Um, I'm getting more single, okay? So this is going to pertain to single cancers, okay? Um, I feel like the nurse, the next person that you're going to deal with, this person is going to be a Sagittarius. This is somebody who's really going to be a good person for you, okay? Going to bring a lot of hope, aspirations, okay? That's what I'm getting. But I love this energy because I'm seeing that you guys are taking back your power and you guys are moving forward. You're evolving, okay? Now, the signs. I already say it's going to be a fire sign that you are letting go of or an earth sign that you're letting go of. Um, that's what I'm getting strongly. It could be a Scorpio as well, but I'm getting strong fire and earth. Um, now, for the romance angel, I got trust, codependency, and worth waiting for. I also got keep an open mind. Um with codependency, that's what I'm seeing. I feel like this, the connections that you had prior to this transformation, I feel like it was really codependent, okay? And you guys are removing yourself from that codependent energy, okay? You are evolving, you're transforming yourself from a caterpillar to a butterfly, okay? And I feel like you guys are done with the cocooned stage, okay? Um, some of you guys are still in it, but you're about to completely transform and i feel like it's really going to shock the people that you dealt with it's really gonna shock them okay um because they probably thought you will all the time be stuck on them they probably thought you will all the time be there for them no you guys are transforming now the north node is in cancer so i've been telling you guys this for a long time when your north node is in your when the north node is in your sign in your sun sign you're going to go through a major transformation. You're not going to be the same person, okay? And it's, it's going to be for your highest good usually, okay? And that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you guys are in this whole transformative period. And it's very interesting because it's Mercury retrograde. Um, so past people are ten, tend to come back. And I'm seeing probably two past people are coming back probably too as well. Um, now, with worth waiting for is because I feel like a lot of you guys are clearing out this old energy you clear it out because you're ready for your real person you are ready to be with the person that you want to marry the person that you want to have a family with you're ready okay and then i got trust because you know that there's going to be somebody that's greater okay you know that there's going to be somebody who is your um your person okay that's what i'm getting and you really believe this now when i clarify trust i got imprints yeah, so you know that you don't need to change for somebody. Um, what I mean is basically if you was bending over backwards for somebody, if you was overexerting your energy, um, if you was loving this person and this person was not loving you back, this person was disrespecting you, you're not doing that no more because you know that you are the empress. You know your self-value, you know your self-worth, and I feel like a lot of you guys have mastered that. And... When I clarify codependency, I got the two of swords in reverse, okay? Um, so, yeah, I feel like you guys got your mind made up and your mind is clear, okay? When you was in this connection that was codependent, your mind was not clear. Usually when you're in toxic codependent relationship, your mind is, like, 
all over the place. You're not really there, basically. And when you remove yourself from these codependent relationships, when you remove yourself from these toxic relationships, your mind is there, your focus is there, your drive is there. And I feel like it's coming back to you. And when I clarify... Keep an open mind. I got the heart and the queen of cups, okay? Because again, with this, this represents your energy. But it's like knowing your self value, knowing your self worth because you, you're ready for your real person. You're ready for a real commitment, okay? Now, when I clarify worth waiting for, I got the seven of cups. So you're waiting for your dream person. You're waiting for your dream man or woman, okay? And I'm seeing that you know that it's gonna happen. It's no doubt, okay? You know that this is gonna happen. Now, for the oracle spread, I got I embrace my body, self belief, and end the flow. So, with I embrace my body, this is good. I feel like this is you loving yourself, self care. With self belief, you know that there's going to be so much, so, so, I say so much, so it, it's going to be great potentials, but you know that there's going to be somebody much better than your past. And it's going to be aligned to who you truly are, okay? Who your, your true essence is. Now, when I clarify the world card, I got the Six of Wands in the verse, the High Priestess, and the King of Pentacles in the verse. So I feel like you closing out a chapter um, out of your life who's somebody who all the time wanted your attention, okay? Um, this is somebody who's an attention whore, okay? They come in cycles and waves, okay? This person just come back when they want attention. Um, and you're you're cutting off this person out your life, okay? Because your spirit been was telling you to cut this person out your life, but you're just trying to give them a benefit of doubt. This is somebody who's not stable. They, were, they had nothing to give you. They had nothing to offer you, okay? Um, now, when I clarify um, the temperance, I got the strength card, the three of cups in the verse and chariot. Yeah, you guys are really making a decision of not um, returning to somebody, of not accepting a past person back into you your life no more. You're moving forward, okay? You're moving forward completely. And you're probably going to feel completely, like you're just saying, you're moving forward, but you kind of feel sad about it. I feel like when the Mars is going to turn into Cancer, you're going to feel completely free. You're going to feel completely like, wow, I have a dead weight off my shoulder. You feel free, you feel clear, okay? Now, when I clarify um, the Page of Wands in the verse, I got the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups in the verse, the Fool in the verse, and the Hermit. So, yeah, some of you guys are still in the cocoon phase, but that's okay because you guys are focusing on you. Okay, you're focusing on you. You're not really paying too much attention to new love or love per se because you know that you got to fix whatever that needs to be fixed within. Okay, we all are reflection with each other. So if you're attracting certain type of people, that means that's something that is deep within and you have to fix it. Okay, you have to fix what's inside of you and release. Okay, and that's what I'm getting. I feel like you guys are focusing on yourself rather than to jump into a connection. You're just focusing on yourself. Now, when I clarify um, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, I got the Nine of Wands, the Four of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Five of Wands. So yeah, I feel like you guys are going to have your breakthrough very soon. And it's by you really cutting off any situation that was holding you back, that was limiting you, that was not showing your true essence of who you are. And I feel like this is relating to two past exes, okay? Um, you're breaking free from that. Okay, you're completely breaking free and cutting off soul ties. Okay, and you're rejecting anybody who's operating in that low frequency, low vibes. Okay, and you're protecting what is who you are, your true essence. Now, when I clarify the Queen of Wands in the verse, I got the Three of Wands in the verse and Death in the verse. So, like I was mentioning, Mercury, Mercury retrograde is happening today, it's gonna happen. Basically throughout March, I said throughout March, March, um, throughout February. So you are a water sign. It's going to be in Pisces. So you're another fellow, fellow water sign. So I do see past people coming back. Okay. However, I feel like you guys really turn your back away from this. I really feel that way. I feel like you're over it. You don't have no passion for it at all. Now, when I clarify the tower in reverse, 
I got the two of wands, the seven of swords in the verse, and the five of swords in the verse. So yeah, you done playing games with people who who was wasting your time, um, who never care about you, who never love you, who was using you. You know, you're done wasting your time with that. You done with the F boy, Alpha Gal situation, and you're ready for your person. You're ready for your person, but you know at the same time that you gotta fix whatever that needs to be fixed within. And that's what I'm seeing. And you're avoiding anybody, especially your past, um, anybody who just operating on a low frequency, okay? Because I feel like you guys are transforming. Now, for the angel answers, I got get more information, be assertive, listen to your intuition, yes, and trust. So I got trust twice. So the universe wants you to know that. Definitely believe. Because I feel like your love life is really progressing. Okay? And you it's like you already know it. You can feel it. And with be assertive, it's trying to say stick to your morals. Stick to your morals. Okay? Stick to your standards. Okay? But get more information. Um, probably this is more like you, when you're meeting other people, really see them for who they are. Don't give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay? Um, that's what I'm getting. But I see that right now you guys are really transforming. This is beautiful. Like, I love this type of energy. Okay. So that's the reading that I got for you cancers. Okay. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading with me at queenfortheteo at gmail.com.